I'm trying to platinum every game I own. The last COD game I did was COD 4, and in this video, I'm doing... Released in 2010, developed by Treyarch, Black Ops 1 is one of the best-selling COD games of all time. And to get the Platinum, we need to complete the entire game on Veteran, as well as getting all multiplayer and zombies trophies for a total of 51 trophies. Also, I streamed the entire thing over on Twitch, so if you want to watch it live, go follow my Twitch. But we get our first trophy, Sacrifice, for completing the first mission in the game. And after playing COD 4 and World of Wars campaign on Veteran, I was expecting to breeze through this campaign. Oh no, oh no. That's one death. I quickly found out that won't be the case. But making our way through the mission, we get to our first missable trophy, Death to Dictators, which we get for taking down Castro with a headshot. Got him. Death to the Dictators. Our first trophy. Wait, that was cool as shit. After game in Castro, we escaped the first level with the worst start in a veteran COD campaign yet. Sacrifice. Second trophy. For completing the next mission for Kuda, we get the trophy, give me liberty or give me death. And the game decided to give me death. I didn't even get a chance. Apparently I chose it 16 more times. Now in this level, there are two missable trophies with the first being Slingshot Kid. We need to destroy all three targets without missing a single shot. So I missed the first shot. Damn it. <laughs> we'll come back and get that one later in the video, but I did manage to get the second one, Vehicular Slaughter, for destroying all enemies on vehicles during the prison break. Vehicular Slaughter. And with that trophy, we completed the mission as Reznov drove off into the sunset. Give me liberty or give me death. Another trophy. Now this next trophy is really when this game starts to show how hard some of these trophies are. With the trophy VIP, we need to complete the mission USDD, uh, where it's a cutscene. Yeah, it's a free level and it's a free trophy. We absolutely take those. VIP. That was such a tough mission. The next trophy, a safer place, we get for completing the mission, Executive Order. And we also get the trophy, Cold Warrior, for completing it on Veteran. And in the mission, you need to sneak into the multiplayer map, Launch. And by sneak, I mean die seven times. Oh, cool, yeah. I got uh, Yeah, yeah, I got bumped off. No, no, that's fine. Moving our way through the mission, we need to blow up the rocket and then escape. And we manage to escape, only dying 17 more times. Cold Warrior. A safer place. Two of them. The next trophy looks don't count. We get for completing the mission SOG. Woods, you look like having shit. It's don't count for shit, you junk. Now this level wasn't too bad. Okay, it was pretty bad, but at the end of the level, we hop into a jeep and have to destroy six tanks. And for the trophy Tough Economy, we need to not miss a single tank. Bang! Tough Economy. Looks don't count. But you look like hammered shit, Mason. SOG rules is the next trophy where we need to complete the mission The Defector. And for completing it on Veteran, we get the trophy down and dirty. And within two seconds of this mission, Woods throws me a literal war crime. Oh, the fire breath. And for the trophy Dragon Within, we need to get 10 kills with it. The Dragon Within. Now this mission wasn't too bad, except for the fact that I missed another missable trophy. What a surprise. But we finish off the mission with a very cool slow-mo jump. Down and dirty. SOG rules. Let's fucking go. Now, we get to probably the worst mission in the entire game. Numbers. The numbers, Mason. God, what do they mean? Just keep hearing. The fucking numbers! Completing this mission gets us the trophy Broken English. Now there's another missable trophy called Double Trouble where you need to complete the entire level with just using the dual wield pistols that you start with. Which is a big stretch because I can't even complete the mission with any gun. Uh... Oh my god, bro. Oh. You need to sprint and jump to make it- I fucking did that! That's exactly what I did, and I'm dead before I- Holy fuck, bro. I'm just going. What the fuck? Get me off the ledge! Oh, skill issue? Yeah, it is. Holy fuck, ban him. Oh my god, I got this mission down to a T now. Never mind, I'm dead. Yeah, cool. I need to stop talking, holy fuck. So it was a struggle to get to this point in the mission, but now it's gonna get a lot worse. 
I didn't get a chance. So we need to hold up at this point and wait for this guy to go unlock the door. After 15 deaths and holding the position for over five minutes, something fell off. Open the fucking door, bro. Holy shit. No, we're trolling, we're trolling, we're trolling, we're trolling! We are fucking trolling! Bro, bro, how long is this level? Where is the door? Defend. What am I defending? There's one guy trying to- There's no one else with me. Just one and two. Wait, I don't know where the other guy is. Yeah, I don't know what happened. But the guy that was supposed to unlock the door fell through the map. So essentially, I was waiting for no one to unlock the door. Holy fuck. Fuck, man. Which not only means I can't complete the mission, I need to play the entire level again. And up until this point, I died 61 times. So as usual, I jump straight back at it. I'll tell you what's therapeutic. Me snapping my controller in half or throwing it as hard as I fucking can against my wall. Just the thought of it's kind of getting me through this bit, you know what I mean? But thankfully, I was a little faster this time because I knew what to expect. And it only took me nine deaths to get back to exactly where I was stuck. And I was interested to see how long it actually took to get that door unlocked. No way it was that quick. No way it was that quick, bro. Fuck off. Yeah, it took 10 seconds. Get me the fuck off this level right now. I, I almost died more times in this single level than I had before the mission. I was two deaths away. This mission sucked. Broken English. Holy fuck, finally. Well, for at least this next trophy, I'll be able to relax with the trophy, Some Wounds Never Heal, uh, which is a weird name for a- Oh, we're back in World at War. God damn it. And while I did have flashbacks of World at War, I managed to claw my way through the mission and complete it. Ding. Some wounds and never heal. But unfortunately, we're not done with this level. As for the trophy Lightfoot, we need to complete the final push of this level on Veteran with 2 minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock. And this time around, we had 2 minutes left. So a whole 15 seconds we're gonna need to make up. But we'll come back to that trophy later in the video as we need to keep pushing our way through this Veteran campaign. We get our next trophy, It's Your Funeral, for completing the last two missions and this next mission, Victor Charlie, on Veteran. And in this mission, there are two missions trophies. And for the first one, up close and personal, you get for silently taking out three enemies at the start of the level. Yes, but I'll take the hate map. Up close and personal. Thanks for the trophy, boys. And the other missable trophy, Heavy Hand, we need to take out the machine gun using the Grim Reaper. Heavy hand, there's another trophy. Now, adding up the last two levels, we died 21 times. That death count getting up there. Oh yeah, it is. And we completed the level to get our trophy. It's your funeral. Now, every veteran campaign usually has a vehicle mission where you can take a breath, calm down, and thankfully, the mission crash site is exactly oh, that. And the trophy name is exactly what I want to do when I get these missions, and that's never get off the boat. And as we move through the level, Treyarch blessed us with some beautiful copywritten music. I like the radio, I like the radio, I like the music. Eventually, we do get off the boat, which the trophy doesn't lie. Barman! We should have never gotten off the boat. Never get off the boat. That's what I'm fucking saying. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. And that ship reminds me of a ship that's in the sponsor of this video, War Thunder. War Thunder is the most intense and comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. And it's free to play on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. With over 2,500 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships, all ranging from the 1920s all the way to the present day. All incredibly detailed to create an immersive combat experience. So immersive that when you get shot at, you can actually see what damage your vehicle has taken with their damage x-ray view. My favorite game mode recently has been the naval battles, absolutely destroying any ship that's in my path. My place in the team first! Join the worldwide community of over 70 million players for free on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox by checking out the pinned comment or the link in the description. And new and returning players that haven't played in six months will also receive a massive bonus pack that includes multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, and a whole bunch more. But it's only available for a limited time so what are you waiting for? Check out War Thunder today. It's completely free. And thank you, War Thunder, for sponsoring this video. For the trophy Pathfinder, we need to guide our squad through the start of the mission of WMD without getting them killed. And again... Wait, who's this? Who? Kilo 1. Come in, Kilo 1. Wait, they just got fucking destroyed. Oh, okay, that was me. We'll come back to this trophy after the veteran campaign. God... Damn it. But thankfully, we won't need to come back for the next trophy, Mr. Black Op. We're in the same mission we need to get into the relay station without setting off an alarm. 
Mr. Black Op. We get our next trophy, not today, for completing the last two missions, as well as the mission Payback, which has one of the most iconic scenes in the entire game. Bang! You can't kill me! You shoot, GI, you shoot! Fuck! This mission, as well as the last two missions, were pretty easy, all up only dying 19 times. And at the end of the mission, Woods oh. bravely sacrifices himself to save us so we can get our trophy. Not today. The trophy Sally likes blood I accidentally got during the vehicle section in the mission Rebirth. And you might be thinking, oh, vehicle mission, you love those. Unfortunately, not this one, where usually in vehicle missions, they give you extra health. Well, not in this one. We're just sitting in the open oh my with God. no cover, no extra health, and on veteran difficulty. This is just, it's just unfair. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do, bro? Oh, oh, oh. It does work. Oh my fucking God. Sally likes blood. I don't know what that is. I'm in a death loop right now. We got that last trophy for taking down three enemies with a single bullet, but at this point, I just wanted to get away from this vehicle section, which after we managed to escape the vehicle section, we have one final push into an even worse section, where we put on hazmat suits that have a damage limit. Why they wanted you to suffer in this mission, I don't know. Oh, wait, I, it doesn't regen. All right, okay. Yeah, one final push to make me break my control. Holy fuck. Why would they do this? After dying a couple more times, we finally get to the end of the mission, where we find out that Reznov didn't kill Steiner. We did. He was never at Rebirth Island. My name is Victor Reznov. Victor Reznov's been dead for five years. He died at Vorkuta during the escape. And we get the trophy clarity when Mason finally remembers where the broadcast station is. Where? Cuba. Ooh. Clarity. Holy, what a mission. What a fucking mission. God damn. Now we are at the last level, Redemption. We're completing this mission on Veteran is going to pop three trophies, with Black Ops Master being the main trophy we get for completing the game on Veteran. And after pushing through the final mission, and of course, dying a few times, we find and game end Dragovich. Oh, shit. And finally, swim to victory. It's over. We won. Damn. America, baby. USA, USA, USA. Burn notice. Stand down. Black Ops Master, we did it! With the campaign completed, we still have 25 trophies left to get the Platinum, which involves both multiplayer trophies and zombies trophies. But our next trophy, just ask me nicely, requires us to break out of our torture chair. Let's break out of our cage! Ah! Fuck you, Hudson! Just ask me nicely. Finally out of the chair, we can get the next trophy, insert coin, for typing in DOA on the computer behind us and booting up a game of Dead Ops Arcade. Insert coin. And Dead Ops actually has a trophy attached to it called Easy Rhino, which you get for using a speed boost to blast through 20 zombies. That's gotta be 20, right? Maybe I'm underestimating how many zombies is actually 20. Oh no, there you go, Easy Rhino. It was 20. We did it! After getting to a super high round in Dead Ops, another trophy that's related to the computer terminal is the trophy eaten by a Gru, which if you enter in the word Zork, you can play a text-based game that was designed in the 70s by Activision. Eaten by a Gru. Whatever the fuck that means. And now we need to get ready for deployment, where we need to reach rank 10 in combat training. Wait, I'm gaming? Level 4 already? He's absolutely unreal. Wait, level six? We're gonna do it in one game. Okay, so it took two games. But seriously, if the trophy said I needed to get to max level, I wouldn't have been mad. Level 10. Ready for deployment. Love me some combat training, man. With a small taste of the multiplayer, it was time to head back to the campaign. As would you believe it, we missed a bunch of missable trophies. Like the trophy Slingshot Kit, where in the mission Vorkuda, we need to destroy all targets without missing a shot. Okay, one down. On the money? I don't think I can miss this one. Bang! Where's my trophy? There it is. Slingshot kid. <laughs> yeah, baby. Moving on to the mission defector, we get the trophy Raining Pain, where we need to get 20 kills only using the air support. 
Raining pain. There you go. There was no way I could have known that was full 20. For the next trophy, Double Trouble, we need to go back to Kowloon and complete the level only using the dual wield pistols. Believe it or not, this is a good mission when it's not on veteran and the guy who's supposed to unlock the door doesn't fall through the map. Oh, Double Trouble. Okay, I can. There we go. Doolies only. Making our way back to the fun vehicle mission for the trophy Lord Nelson, we need to destroy all structures that are on the river while on the boat. And thankfully, I don't get one tapped and can actually take my time and make sure I got everything. Lord Nelson! We just got that in time, I swear. For the trophy Pathfinder, we go back to the mission WMD, and we get the trophy for guiding our squad through the first part of the mission without dying, uh, which is definitely something I should have done the first time around if I wasn't a dumbass. Day two be forward last time. They clutched off. Pathfinder. Easy. Would have got that the first time if I knew there was, those were enemies. Our next trophy with Extreme Prejudice, we need to complete the flying section of the mission, Payback, by only using our rockets. Yeah. Is that not the trophy? I used only rockets. Yep, it is. With Extreme Prejudice. I don't know the saying, but it's a trophy. And in the same mission, we can get another missable trophy, which we get for using the flamethrower attachment and getting 10 kills with it. Ah, uh, is that 10? I feel like that's way more than 10. There you go. Russian barbecue. Uh. <laughs> Fuck was that? For this next trophy, we need to game in seven test experiment monkeys in under 10 seconds. Oh, no, they're only oh, doing tricks on it. Do it again. You oh, shit. One, two. Bad aim. I I'll be the first to admit it. Bad aim. No Leaks is another missable trophy that I would have had no chance getting during the first playthrough, as you need to make it through the Nova 6 gas without dying. Not up or shut up. But luckily on Recruit, it's not too bad, but you still have to be careful. Oh, okay. Okay, we got our first crack. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on now. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That's not good. Oh, we did it. No Leaks. Even though I got shot, I think it cracked twice. Now we finally get to the last mission tied missable trophy, Double Whammy, where we need to take out both helicopters with one Valkyrie rocket. Oh, how did that not get the back one? Got him. That's it. We're there it is, Double Whammy. Hell yeah. Oh, missed. And unfortunately, we still have two campaign-related trophies. And for the trophy Unconventional Warfare, we need to get 30 kills using explosive bolts in the crossbow. I, get, I did it! Unconventional Warfare! That's nice! And for the last campaign trophy, Fragmaster, we need to game in five enemies using a single grenade. Does it not count because I hit an explosive? Oh, no, there you go, Fragmaster. Okay, that's exactly what I did the last time. Hell yeah. Now it's finally time for the zombies trophies. Starting with the trophy, The Collector, we need to buy every weapon off the walls in a single zombies game. And a little warning, I've never been the biggest fan of solo zombies, not because I absolutely suck at it. I'm already down. It's because I suck at it. I, I really can't play this game solo. I need people to be able to revive me. Oh, no. I can't stand this shit. Fuck zombies, bro. As I made my way through a couple of rounds, I bought some more guns off the wall and was actually getting better. Oh, I'm fucking... Why don't I go that way? That's the thing. I just make stupid fucking mistakes. Now I don't have fucking quick revive. Oh my god. Okay, so I wasn't getting better, but I was somehow surviving. Making our way up to the last gun. Thousand? For claymores? I just need 20. Nice. That's it. There it is. The Collector. Oh, thank God. At least we got this. Hell yeah. And that's actually perfect timing because the next trophy hands off the merchandise. We need to game end the Pentagon Thief before he can steal our loadout. And after getting to wave 12 by myself, I'm no longer scared anymore. Oh my fucking God. Let's get the fuck out of me. That was a genuine <laughs> scare. He took my gun. The only one with ammo. Yeah, sick. Sick. Oh, God damn it. Well, we got the trophy. We got the first one. Yeah, so I quickly learned the bullets aren't going to cut it. So to take this guy out, I kept the first starting pistol. And you know me, the zombie's professional, flying through the earlier rounds without any issues. Oh, I got it now. Hold on. 
Yeah, I knew I was gonna get hit the second I speak. And once I had enough money, I decided to pack a punch the pistol to give me the Mustang and Sally. That shoots out explosive bullets. Got him! Let's fucking go! There it is! Hands off the merchandise. Let's go. Now for the last two zombies trophies, we need to get a little lucky. Because for the trophies, see me, stab me, heal me, we need a pack-a-punched ballistic knife. As well as the trophy sacrificial lamb, we need to pack-a-punch a crossbow. Now for that last one, it doesn't seem too hard as anyone in the lobby can pull a crossbow from the mystery box. But for see me, stab me, heal me, I need to be the one who pulls the ballistic knife. So I hopped in a lobby and filled it with the lovely people from over in the Twitch chat. Shout out to Bennis, Matt, and Kiwi for joining and helping me with these trophies. Trophies. So we loaded in and started to hit the mystery box. And hopefully we get lucky and either pull a crossbow or a- oh, What? It's almost a katana. What? Wait, that's fucking huge. We take those. Scripted. It's actually scripted. With the ballistic knife packed first try, all we need to do is survive long enough to pack a punch the weapon to get the- oh, I can't even move. No! I should have been host. Rib knife. And while it does suck, as we lost our first box ballistic knife, we loaded back in, ready to hit the box until we got one of the- Oh my god! Wait, what? We're back! Let's fucking go! Wait, we're gaming! Now this time with me as host, there's no way anything can go wrong. Wait. Just kidding, it went- it went fine. I pack a bunch of the ballistic knife and now all I have to do is revive a teammate. <laughs> There we go. Oh, he went down almost instantly. Wait, the trophy's not... There he Oh my god, I thought the private match didn't work. See me, stab me, heal me. Let's go, boys, let's go. With the ballistic knife out the way, we now need to hit the box and get a crossbow. But luckily, I don't have to be the one to get it. As for the trophy, we just need anyone in the party to get it. And the best time to try get one... Fire sale! Get there, boys! Fire sale, fire sale, crossbow! Better's got crossbow! Let's fucking go! Where is he? I wanna see it. Liar! Let's go! <laughs> After Ben has got enough points to pack a punch, all we have to do now is get shot with it and run into a pack of six zombies. That's it. Right? Oh no, there it is! Sacrificial lamb! Hell yeah! With the zombies trophies completed, me and the boys got to level 19, which I'm proud of us guys, good job. And to be honest, I'm kind of upset that there's not more zombies trophies. But with the trophies done, I wanted to celebrate and thank the guys for helping with the trophy by taking them on a date night. And for the trophy, all we have to do is watch a clip in theater mode where more people from the Twitch chat jumped in and I treated them to the absolute cod goblin that I was all the way back in 2010. Day night, watch me cook. One. No. Ah! And the headshot. Cracked? With everyone here, we decided to go over to multiplayer, getting the only multiplayer trophy, where I need to finish five times in the money in wager matches. I'm coming for that 30 COD points. If I get host, if I don't, then I'm not here. Good game. Nick, yes! That's what I'm talking about! Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, some things you never lose, man. Oh, uh, hold on. Spoke too soon, spoke too soon, spoke too soon. Some things you never lose. Let's go! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Got him! Good. Oh, thank you for walking into that. Yes! Another one! No one! No! Matt! Damn it! What trophy are you currently doing? We need to be in the money uh, five times. We've been in four times. We need one more. Uh, we don't need one more. <laughs> What the fuck? Now, I won't lie, this was the most fun part of the stream. And we're going to be doing sessions like this for other CODs in the future, so make sure you go follow the Twitch so we can fill out an entire Modern Warfare 2 lobby for when we go for that Platinum next. But with two trophies left, it's time to go back to the campaign and get the trophy Closer Analysis and collect all hidden intel throughout the campaign, uh, which I, I might have missed one or two while playing on Veteran. But after combing through each mission, we managed to collect all the intel. Intel acquired. PS3? Hello? There it is. Oh my god. Closer analysis. All intel done.
Thank God I'm out of here. Which leaves us with our final trophy, Lightfoot, which is the veteran time trial trophy for the mission Project Nova, where we need to shave off 15 seconds out of the last part of the mission. But the most annoying part of this trophy is that I need to play the entire level on veteran just to get up to that point. Yeah, I thought I was released from veteran on BO1, but clearly not. But after pushing through 90% of the level, we got to the time part of the mission. And if we do this with 2 minutes 15 left on the clock, we get our platinum trophy. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Did not work. Oh, I have to play this part every time? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, hold on. The fuck? We don't have 45 seconds. Wait, not bad. Not bad. No, 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 no. Four seconds. Ah! Let's fucking go. Surely. Is that second try? No trophy? I didn't do it. PS3. Wait, hold on. Give it a second. Damn. No, do I have to play the entire fucking mission again? Oh, for fuck's sake, bro. What is that? No way I have to play the entire mission again. I saw 2.15 when you hit the rope. All right, let's check the footage. It's gone in 2.15. The trophy says with 2.15 on the clock. Whatever. What the fuck ever. And the worst part about coming up just short is the fact that I need to play the entire mission again, as touching the rope activates a checkpoint past the section we need for the trophy. But after dragging my feet through the level on Veteran for the third time... Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm better. I, I got that surge. We finally got back to the section, and for me to not play this level again, I need to make sure there's no doubt that I even got close to 250. So I gave it one last push. I do not want to play this mission again. Here we go. Lock in. Yes! No, I just man, lose fucking go! 10 seconds? Like, cool. That's so much time. That's so much time. That's got to be it. Literally is it. There it is, Lightfoot! The Platinum. Fucking finally, bro. God damn it. Black Ops 1, Platinum Trophy. Ah, oh, there we go. What a fucking game. Thank you so much for watching this video, and a quick thank you again to War Thunder for sponsoring it. And remember to download War Thunder. It is free on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And for new and returning players, you can use my link in the description to get a large bonus pack. Thank you, War Thunder, for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel again. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let me know of any games you want to see me platinum. Make sure to follow me over on Twitter, and also check out the Twitch to watch me trophy hunt live. And I'll see you in the next video, where I'll finally find out what the numbers mean. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son?